Hi guys, yours truly Macon here, and welcome back to my channel. And for those here for the first time, this channel is for all things design, from interior to fashion design, when making designs. As you see, I am not at home. We are in Hintertux, Austria, skiing and snowboarding the Hintertux Glacier, but I still wanted to take time to give you a video. This interior design is based on the inspiration I got when I bought this table with reed bamboo pedestals. First of all, I only paid 39 euros on eBay for the table, complete with the glass top and the two pedestals and immediately it reminded me of the style of Gabriella Crispi. I've always wanted to have a bohemian multicultural dining room to include my many multicultural friends who sit and break bread with me. Let's design a Gabriella Crispi inspired dining room. Some of you are asking, who is Gabriella Crispi? Don't worry, I'll get to that right after this. Gabriella Crispi was born in 1922 and began her studies in architecture at the Politecnico in Milan, where her works were influenced by Le Corbusier and Frank Lord Wright. She began her career as a designer in the 1950s with her first production of objects, small loon collection, steel moon-shaped sculptures. In the 1960s, she established a creative relationship with Masson Dior, of course, just the House of Dior, especially in the context of home and accessories, then later in the 1970s with furniture. In 1968, her prototype, the Plurimo, was exhibited in Dallas, a pure representation of Italian design of that era. With future designs to come, the Plurimi series was brought to life. In 1970, kaleidoscopes and loon were born. These sculptures and lamps introduced a creative innovation in design. Between 1972 and 1975, she designed the quick change sofa and the Z-line, including the Z-bar and the Z-desk, and the infamous Rising Sun bamboo collection, which is the main event and inspiration of this video. The famous fungal lamp was a part of this collection, which would be later produced also in chrome and brass. 1985 signified at first what seemed to be the last of her designs, and she moved to India in 1987 for two decades on a spiritual journey. Upon her return, she published a book of her journey in 2007 and in 2008 collaborated with Stella McCartney on a limited release of some of her 1970s jewelry designs. Yes, she also designed jewelry. She was truly a design powerhouse. In 2013, a new limited edition of Tavolo sculpture was presented in a Belgian black marble. In 2015, Crespi presents New Bronze Age, a series of new limited editions of her classic works. And in 2016, Gabriella realized her last work, The Wave Death. She unfortunately died at her home in Milan on February 14, 2017. She worked up until the end of a very long, productive life, blessing the world with all her creativity. And I have only just barely touched here on the extensive catalog of her designs. Her home in Milan is open for visitation and I would highly recommend it. So let's now take a good look at her home to collect ideas to duplicate her style for a Gabriella Crispi dining room. 
A must-have is bamboo, a material truly loved by Crespi that, as she described, unites strength and flexibility. Gold and brass accents, plush thick carpets and textiles, animal prints, and Asian art or artifacts. I have the table, okay? But now I just needed to find some chairs. Voila, I found these vintage 70s bamboo chairs, which I felt the curved bamboo design accentuated the curve of the pedestal. Perfectly. Me, I can't say pedestal, ped, <laughs> pedestal, pedestal. Okay, I have a table. Now I just needed to find some chairs. Voila. I found these vintage 70s bamboo chairs, which I felt the curved bamboo design accentuated the curve of the pedestals perfectly. I bought mine on Pomona.de. It's a sister website of Cherish, but I saw the exact ones that had sold on design market. Mine were described as in Gabriella Crespi style, but the others as being authentic Crespi chairs. Don't know for how much those sold, but the only authentic crispy bamboo chairs that I know are those from the Rising Sun collection. And as you see here, how expensive they can be. Believe you me, I didn't pay those prices. Okay, after some research, I discovered flaxseed varnish is best to restore bamboo or rattan. So I lightly sanded and cleaned the pedestals. and I had to glue some lifted reed edges. Using a paintbrush, I applied a generous amount all over. Then using a soft cloth, I wiped off any excess and allowed to dry before applying the next coat. I applied a total of about three coats and I was left with a beautiful renewed shine and somewhat deeper color to the bamboo. And of course, I just repeated the process with the chairs. Now for plush rug. Of course, my perfectionist, clean freak side had to rear her ugly head. And you see here, I deep cleaned and polished the floor. The rug is massive and once the table's in place, that rug is never moving. Me not knowing that the floor was immaculately clean under the rug. You guys, that's the stuff that keeps me up at night. Sorry. Yeah, a little neurotic. I found this gorgeous, handmade Moroccan rug on Etsy, and I will have a link for you down below in the description box. Listen guys, for rugs of any size, vintage and new handmade, and at great prices, Etsy is the place to go. All my rugs in my apartment I have from Etsy. A little tip to perfectly center a large rug. I measured and marked the center of my rug. Then I just made a pendulum, just string and something with weight tied at the bottom. The string was then taped to the bulb of the center of my lamp. When the pendulum stopped swinging, just simply line up the mark on the rug right under the weight. Rug is now perfectly centered under my lamp. Now let's decorate. A touch of brass here. My 1930s Hans Kugel lamps now have a new spot. This vintage print brings in the Asian art. As 
well as these embroidered Tibetan pillows and two other pillows in the animal print. I found this vintage orchard ladder on eBay, which I will use to hang future textiles that I collect. The textiles will not only bring in more prints and texture, but they can also double as table runners. My Saizal cascading lamp, made by yours truly, tops off the bohemian look. If you would love to see how I made this lamp, I will leave the link from that video from my other channel below, or just click here on the tab in the upper right corner. So what do you guys think? Would you come over for dinner? Let me know in the comments and think about becoming a part of our group and this adventure of all things design. And as always, Yours truly, heart making. Bye. The curves of the pedestal. God damn it. <coughs> Curve of the pedestals. The curve of the pedestals. Now I'm gonna be dreaming that all night tonight. The curve of the pedestals. Walking through my dreams. Pedestals.